Welcome to this tutorial on the Autodesk Content Catalog Add-in for Revit. We'll explore how to streamline your content management and standardization across projects using this powerful tool. As you can see, I have two projects open on my screen, allowing us to work across multiple files simultaneously. Starting at the tabs above the ribbon, you'll find the Content Catalog Add-in. To begin, I'll launch it in App Format. From here, I move to the toolbar on the left and select the Cloud icon. This is where I can upload and manage content. The app recognizes both active projects, indicated by the blue ellipse on the right. This feature is incredibly useful as it allows us to extract content from multiple projects, creating a standard set of assets that can be used moving forward. Notice the export prefix. This is where the magic begins. By clicking this button, I initiate the export process, which generates a list of all exportable content. I'll go ahead and select a few door families for this demonstration and proceed with the export. With the content selected, the app will extract the specified families. Next, I need to assign these families a home, referred to as collections within the app. I've created a test folder for this demonstration, so I'll select it. You'll now see the test icon displayed confirming that the content has been correctly assigned. To finalize the process, I select the content again and click the Upload button. Switching between projects is simple. Just toggle the drop-down arrow as shown. This time, I'll select Fill Patterns and wall types. The app provides a preview for each item, helping me choose the exact content I need. I can now combine this new content into the test folder created earlier. As I navigate into the folder, you'll notice it contains eight items, each classified into its respective subfolder. This organization makes it easy to find and use specific items in future projects via this insert button. If you'd like to get started on the content catalog today, You'll need to first sign into your Autodesk account. Under the Product Updates tab, locate the Revit extension for the Content Catalog, then download and install it. Once installed, head over to your Autodesk Construction Cloud account. As an account admin, you will have permission to enable content management. On the left side toolbar, navigate to Library and toggle the Content Catalog to enable it. From here, you can create collection folders for your content. 
you might recall the test folder I created earlier. This time, I'll create a new folder specifically for wall types. This project has some well-assembled walls that I want to standardize across all future projects. Using the app, I can export these walls. They all share a common prefix, so I'll use the search bar to quickly find them. I select them all and proceed to store them in the collection folder. Once the upload is complete, I switch back to the ACC library extension. From the collections dashboard, I click on manage and drill down into the standard wall types collection. Here you'll see the wall system families that I've extracted, ready to be pushed into any project. Out of the 23 available wall types, I'm looking for a couple of specific ones. James Hardy Exotech Finish and a CRS Substrate. To make these easier to find in the future, I'll create specific tags in the browser under Settings and apply them to the corresponding wall types. This tagging system is fantastic for standardization. With all collections selected, I can filter out exactly what I need using the search bar. This functionality extends to other elements, such as typical details. For example, in a different version of Revit, I'm focusing in on a partition detail with a steel stud. I've already created a collection folder for details. But what's great here is that I can tag this detail view with the previously created stud tag that I used on the wall types. So now, when I search for stud, the app will list items from various collections. Even better, I can save this search for future use ensuring that I can quickly find what I need across different projects. Finally, let's see how easy it is to upload an existing library. Simply drag the folder from Explorer into the Upload Zone. As that uploads, you'll notice it brings in tags which are automatically created from the subfolder classifications. To wrap up, you can assign user groups to work with specific collections.
For instance, I have a team that typically handles certain projects. So I'll create a group for those members and pin the relevant collection to their profiles. This concludes the tutorial on the Autodesk Content Catalog adding. By leveraging these tools, you can significantly improve the efficiency and consistency of your Revit projects.